So in today's video, we're going to be making this nice, super warm fall slash winter scarf. And it's a great scarf for beginners. It's very easy. Once you learn the very simple pattern, you can just go. And so yeah, get ready to enjoy a very warm, easy scarf pattern. Things you will need include a pair of scissors, a darning weaving tapestry needle, a size I USA crochet hook, okay, and then two of these Burnett pop balls or cakes. I love these. I got these off of Amazon. I will leave a link to them in the description, okay? Well, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start out by chaining 23, but first we need to make the slip knot. So just remember to wrap it around your finger, switch, wrap it around. Now we're gonna pull this over that and off our finger, like that, pull up, grab our crochet hook, insert it into that loop, and then tighten. And now we can commence to chaining our 23 stitches. And let's just make them nice and consistent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You guys will notice as I crochet more and more chains, I adjust where my thumb is placed to the crochet hook so that I'm gripping it, okay? And I lost count, so let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, okay? 12, 13, 14, 15, adjust. It gives me more control. 16, 17, 18, 19, adjust. 20, three more to go, one, two, and three, okay? So now I have my 23 chains. So these 23 chains represent how wide your scarf is going to be. Sometimes I'm in the mood for a nice wide and thick scarf, and so that is what I am planning for this scarf that we're making in today's video, okay? So now, we are going to insert our crochet hook into the third chain from the hook. So here's the hook, one, two, three. That's the third chain from the hook. And we're gonna put a double crochet in there. So we'll yarn over, enter that third chain from the hook. And I like to get two loops. Yarn over, pull through to the front. Three loops now. Yarn over, go through two, one, two. Yarn over, go through two, one and two, all right? Now for the rest of the chains, we're going to be putting essentially two double crochets in each chain, but it's going to be in the form of a decrease. So this is what's gonna make the scarf nice and thick because each chain will be getting two stitches, but because it's a decrease, ultimately it will only be getting one stitch. And I know that sounds super confusing, so just keep watching. All right, so in preparation for the next double crochet, we're gonna yarn over as we always do. Enter this next chain there. And I got the two loops there. I like to get two loops. You can just get one if you want. Yarn over, pull through to the front. Now I have my three loops like normal. Yarn over and go through two, one, two. All right, so now before we complete this double crochet, we're gonna start another one in that same chain. So yarn over, into the same chain, yarn over, pull through to the front. Now we have four loops. Yarn over, go through the first two, one, two. 
Now we're back down to three loops. Yarn over, go through all three. One, two, three, okay? And essentially we put two stitches in that chain, but when you look at the top, there's only one top, which means technically there's only one stitch. So we got the thickness of two stitches in the one chain, but we did not increase because we decreased. So it's kind of like an increase and a decrease all in one stitch. Let's do another one. Yarn over, enter the next chain. And if ever you're wondering what the next chain is, just kind of pull up on the stitches that you just made so you can see where they're inserted. They're inserted in that chain right there. So that means that this right here, that's the next chain. So we'll insert our crochet hook. Yarn over, pull through to the front, three loops. Yarn over, go through two, one, two. All right, now we're going to start the next double crochet. So yarn over, go back into that same chain. Yarn over, pull through to the front. Now we have the four loops. Remember, it's time to yarn over and go through the first two. One, two, and now we're once again left with three loops. And we'll yarn over and go through all three. One, two, and three. And once again, we have increased by putting two double crochets in one chain, but we've also done a decrease two stitches together so that ultimately they cancel each other out. Let's do one more. Yarn over, enter the next chain, which is there. Yarn over, pull through to the front, three loops. Yarn over, go through two, one, two. Yarn over, go back into that same chain. Yarn over, pull through to the front, four loops. Yarn over and go through the first two, one, two. Yarn over, go through the remaining three loops, one, two, three. Okay, and so this is what it is looking like. So you're going to do that increase, decrease in every single chain, okay? And I'm gonna meet you at this last chain. I will see you there. Okay, so we are down to that one last chain. So let me show you how to do this again. So we're gonna yarn over, enter this last chain, and I like to get the two loops when I go through the chain. Yarn over, pull through to the front. Three loops, yarn over, go through two, one, two. And here's where the increase is kind of coming in because I'm gonna re-enter that same stitch to start another double crochet. So I'm gonna leave these two loops on, leave them alone for now. Yarn over, re-enter that same chain. So that's the increase. Yarn over, pull through to the front. Yarn over, go through two. One, two, those first two. And now here's the decrease because we're yarning over and we're gonna go through the remaining three loops. So it's like an increase, just kidding, immediate decrease. And so you have the thickness and fullness of two stitches being in one stitch, but because you crochet them together, the two DC together, or the double crochet two together, DC two together, you've decreased. And so ultimately you don't have an increase. You have the same number of stitches when you count the tops as you did the chains at the bottom, okay? So like for instance, this top, that one stitch, which has two body parts, has the one chain down there. See, one chain, one chain, one chain, one top, one chain, one top, one chain, one top, one chain, one top, one chain, and so on. All right, so the way that we're gonna start row two is going to be what we use to start every row from here on out. So pay close attention, you guys. So we're going to chain two, one, and two. We're going to turn our work like that. And we're going to put a regular double crochet in this very first stitch. So the same stitch that we just crocheted two out of, that one right there, we're going to go right back in that top. So slice the icing off the top of the cake. <laughs> yarn over, pull through to the front. And this is the only time we're gonna make a regular double crochet, okay? So yarn over, go through two, one, two. Yarn over, go through two, one, two. 
basically what's happening is this chain two and that regular double crochet is kind of mimicking the increase decreases that we're doing in all the other stitches so remember at the beginning of every row from here on out you'll chain the two turn your work and then put a regular double crochet into that first stitch and then for the rest of the stitches they're going to be just like the ones that we were making before so yarn over enter the top of the stitch yarn over pull through to the front yarn over go through two put that to the side yarn over re-enter that same stitch yarn over pull through to the front yarn over go through the first two loops one two and then yarn over go through all three loops and that's completing that decrease so these two stitches which is really only one because it only has one top there go into that one stitch and that's how you get that nice thickness yarn over go through two yarn over re-enter the stitch yarn over yarn over go through the first two yarn over go through three yarn over next stitch enter it yarn over pull through to the front yarn over go through two leave it alone yarn over re-enter the stitch yarn over pull through to the front yarn over go through the first two loops then yarn over go through the three remaining one more yarn over enter the next stitch yarn over pull through to the front yarn over go through the first two leave it alone yarn over re-enter the stitch yarn over pull through to the front yarn over go through the first two yarn over go through the remaining three okay and so you'll continue doing that until you get down to the end and I will meet you there so we are now at our last stitch okay so here it is right there I have not crocheted into it yet and then you'll notice that there is this chain two at that very end there okay so we're not gonna mess with that chain two that was the purpose of crocheting into that very first stitch there okay so that took care of needing to try to crochet into that in chain two okay instead we're just going to crochet into this final stitch right there okay so let's do it turn it to I'll give you an aerial view I turn it around you see the one top right there that's where we're going to enter so yarn over into the stitch slicing the icing off the top of the cake as I like to say yarn over pull through to the front three loops yarn over go through two leave it alone yarn over re-enter that same stitch yarn over pull through to the front yarn over go through the first two and then yarn over go through the remaining three loops okay and now we're done with that row row two so just to show you that I meant what I said when I said that every row from here on out will start the same I'm just gonna start it and then I'm gonna let you guys spread your wings and fly so remember you chain two one two and you turn your work and then in that very same stitch that very same first stitch or technically from this way that last stitch and remember that is that one top that corresponds to those two bodies right okay we're going to re-enter and this is the one and only time you're going to actually make a regular double crochet so enter the top of the stitch yarn over go through two yarn over go through two and now when it comes to the next next stitch it's back to the same old business as usual enter the stitch yarn over yarn over go through two leave it alone yarn over re-enter the stitch yarn over pull through to the front yarn over go through two yarn over go through the remaining three one more yarn over enter the stitch yarn over pull through to the front yarn over go through two leave it yarn over re-enter that same stitch yarn over pull through to the front yarn over go through the first two yarn over go through the remaining three okay and so on and then you just get this nice thick warm and because we chained out 23 wide <laughs> scarf and so for reference I'm going to crochet 105 rows if you want yours shorter then you can crochet fewer rows if you want longer crochet more rows but yeah I'm gonna crochet 105 rows so once I get there I will be back and we will finish off this nice fall warm scarf see you there 
I have my 105 rows and as you can see I remained consistent I crocheted into that last stitch and I did not try to crochet into that chain 2 on the end so now I am going to yarn over pull through to chain then I'm going to cut my yarn and then I'm going to pull all the way through fastening off Okay. and now you can use a darning weaving tapestry needle as I always say it goes by many names to weave in that yarn when you're working with yarn that is a you know that changes colors just make sure you're weaving into areas where it's actually that color and I'm just gonna go through some stitches okay. doesn't need to be exact like you don't need to enter exactly where I'm entering just enter some stitches and going in one direction and you don't want to pull it too tight if you do pull it tight just be sure to kind of pull it back and then going through slightly different areas in the other direction like that once again not pulling too tight you don't want to distort your work and then just cutting down okay and then we can do the same thing with this other tail just kind of going through some stitches sorry you guys can't see <laughs> but basically I just I'm going through some stitches in one direction and then going back in the other direction in slightly different area okay and then stretching it back out so that it's not distorted it doesn't distort the shape of your scarf okay and so now we have this beautiful nice wide warm <laughs> scarf let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better okay so yeah isn't this just so beautiful and it's i love how wide it is super simple but i love also how thick it is because you're essentially putting two stitches in every stitch but you're not increasing because you're decreasing at the end so yeah it's a wonderful scarf uh, a, a nice warm wintery and fall scarf okay so this is a good project for beginners because you're repeating the same thing and once you get the hang of it you will really have the hang of it <laughs> and yeah just uh, crochet like I said I did 105 rows if you want yours longer go farther you don't need to worry about ending on an odd or even numbered row okay and in next week's video you guys we are going to be adding some tassels onto the ends or fringe is another name for them okay so get your scarf made and then look for next week's video where we'll be adding some tassels aka fringe that is going to be it for this video but you know i'll see you in the next one in the meantime happy crocheting <music>